Hi guys, it's Matt Carter here and welcome to this video on Google Quality Score Secrets. In this video I'm going to take you through exactly what you need to be doing in order to get a high quality score in your Google AdWords campaigns and I'm also going to explain a little bit about why you'd want to do that and what quality score is. So let's get straight into it. Now quality score is quite a complicated equation that Google do so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it but I am going to show you what you need to be doing to help improve your quality score but essentially quality score is an indication from Google of how relevant they think your ad is that you're running. They also it can be more complicated when they look at the ad group and the campaign and they can give you quality scores for those but let's just simplify it now and say it's an equation that Google works out on how relevant they think your ad that you're running is the text of the ad they look at that they look at the click-through rate very important the click-through rate history of the ad and they look at the landing page and they look at the copy on the landing page and they look at links on the landing page and they analyze it and give you a score so what can happen is the higher your quality score is you can end up paying less per click to stay in a high position so obviously that's a good thing um, for any advertiser. So let, let me explain to you by example um, what you need to be doing. So I'm going to open up a campaign here now that I just set up a few minutes ago for example purposes. So give me one second here. We've got, let's just say you're in the yeast infection market and um, inside your ad group. So let's say that we have an ad group and it's called yeast infection. Um, what you'd have is the keywords. I'd only have one keyword, yeast infection, so I'd be very tightly focused. And I'd have all the three match types, broad, exact, and phrase, but I wouldn't have any other keywords. This way, I remain very relevant for the user. When they type in the word yeast infection, they'll see my ad, and I'll have the keyword in the ad of yeast infection. Um, so that's really important to stay, make sure relevancy. Don't fall down on relevancy. A lot of people forget about relevancy, and they wake up hundreds and hundreds of keywords and they lack relevancy and what I mean by that is someone will type in a keyword phrase into the search engine the ad won't really speak to them because it hasn't got the keyword in the phrase in the ad copy and the landing page really doesn't match up with what they're looking for and they lose relevancy and then you lose sales so make sure you do that have tightly focused ad groups and also really important is click-through rate is probably one of the biggest measures of quality score so you need to get a high click-through rate so in order to do that you can you want to get your ads in a high positions but you also want to make sure you've got a good ad running so you want to test your ads I always have two ads running and what you want to do is have the keyword phrase in the ad so yeast infection that'll get bolded it'll help with your click-through rate and also have obviously having it in here as well will help for quality score so make sure that you've got two ads running so over a certain period of time when you've got say a hundred clicks look at which ad got the most clicks because Google will rotate your ads for you and show them evenly and then you take away the ad that didn't perform as well and then you rewrite another one and you make slight incremental changes to the best performing ad when you rewrite the new ad and you just try and continually get a higher click-through rate and get rid of the underperforming ad because if you can improve your click-through rate your quality score will go up which is really key so please remember to do that always be split testing your ads now I'm going to show you an example of a landing page for yeast infection here just give me one sec to get it in the picture so other places to make sure you've got the keyword phrases in the headline so have it in the headline here in your h1 tags have it in the body copy um, of the actual landing page as well so uh, if you've got um, lots of different types of keywords in your campaigns you might want to think about building multiple landing pages don't just have one generic landing page so let's have the weight loss niche for an example for just one moment if you have um, lots of keywords that are around weight loss have the word weight loss in them and then you have other ones that are kind of grouped around the theme fat loss other ones that are around man boobs let's say uh, and other ones around pregnancy weight loss they're all similar themes there might be slight variations on that, on that like it might be um, how to lose man boobs lose my man boobs man boob man boobs exercises or something like that but they're all man boob related and on the landing page I would have the keyword phrase in the headline here if it was for the weight loss one I'd replace it and have a weight loss landing page the rest of the information is the same you're just replacing the keywords and in the text as well you obviously sprinkle the theme keyword for that landing page in the landing page that will help for your quality score um, I'm just going to have a look at the page source so if you look at view page source right click view page source if you're a Firefox user and over here we've got um, in your meta tags the keywords here 
make sure you've got the keyword phrase here, yeast infection. So the keywords for the page have, or the theme page have the keyword phrase that you're wanting to um, get a good quality score for. In the description as well, make sure that you've got here what the page is about. Make sure you've got a good, um, sorry, make sure you've got the keyword phrase here. And then what can even help here is you can actually have the text of the highest click-through rate ad as the description for the page because Google will think that's even more relevant as well. And then as we mentioned in the H1 tag, so let's just show you here H1, you can see there, and then the H1 finishes have the keyword phrase for that theme in there as well. So those are um, important places to concentrate for your um, where to put the keyword phrase on the landing page. Let's just have a look at another example um, here of a squeeze page here for pay-per-click. Now this squeeze page um, Obviously, there's not a lot of text. So although this could work really well and it looks great, and I'm not saying anything bad against it, I'm just saying this thing's if it was mine, I would do slightly differently. So let's say it was for pay per click. I'm not sure what they're actually trying to get a quality score for on this page, but I would have the keyword phrase in the headline. I'd have more text here to have the keyword phrase again, and more importantly, I would have links at the bottom of the page. You can see there's no links, so I'd have links going to articles on my own domain, not just leaving the domain. So um, have like 10 articles and you can insert a blog onto the domain it's so easy to do if you, most cPanels have a little button called Fantastico click on that add a blog add in 10 posts and then your quality score will increase also have um, privacy policy contact us those sort of things are very important and have links to authority sites as well that's another thing make sure that if there's an authority in your niche it may be Clickbank I've linked to Clickbank a few times um, I've linked to Google search results for, for um, affiliate marketing other times. So make sure you've got um, authority sites that you're linking to. It might be Wikipedia, um, but make sure you do that and then it will improve your quality score. And I'll just quickly show you one that I did that got a really good quality score and had good results with. This is a squeeze page um, for affiliate marketing. Um, see there I've got the word affiliate marketing. Actually this was for affiliate marketing info. I actually really tightly focused this one I was experimenting in. So you can see why I've got the word info in there. Put the word info in there, I've got affiliate marketing again in there, um, and affiliate there, and down the page, etc. You'll see it's a similar sort of thing. I've got, um, as you can see here, affiliate marketing as well, and then the word info again there. So that helps my quality score, and then again in the um, page source, I had it again. I'll just quickly show you that in one second. Um, view page source up here I see affiliate marketing info and then I had the best text out affiliate marketing info etc etc and then in my h1 tags so that's a little bit of a look at what you need to be putting on your landing pages so let's just uh, quickly recap on what we've looked at in Google quality score so make sure you've got tightly focused ad groups so you remain really relevant your keywords are in the ad text as well so it gets bolded and it'll help for your quality score having them in there your click-through rate will go up always 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 run two ads so that you're split testing your ads so that you um, um, can continually be improving your click-through rate of your ad because click-through rate is probably one of the most important things make sure you're focusing on your click-through rate it has to be high click-through rate um, the other things are on the landing page have the keywords in the right places as we discussed in your headings and the body text build out themes if you need to in the meta tags make sure you've got them as well, there as well and links as well make sure you got links actually I forgot to show you on my landing page that I just showed you quickly before at the bottom I had links going to Clickbank and to Google and to a um, couple of other authority sites and then I've also got I had 10 oh no, I think I had about seven articles going to um, articles on my own domain for that domain that I was running and it helped my quality score and they have to be unique content as well don't just copy other people's it's unique content so those are important things to do for your quality score so I hope this video has been helpful um, if you put everything into practice your quality score should get a good result which will again in turn help your cost per click to come down so um, that's the end of this video thanks very much for listening I hope it's been helpful until next time bye for now